Hey everyone, Murray Duck here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Last time we took on Shobin twice and got our scooter upgraded to a hover scooter. And uh, now in this part, we're going to continue with our exploration of the SS Libra. Let's go up here. Roll it, dude, get here without one get away with us. Isn't that right, Snidle? Oh, yes, indeed. Such a lost opportunity, but it was obviously rare. Well, here we come. Why, if you caught a Gorgon, your collection would have been increased by 0.7%. Such a disappointing loss. Yes, yeah, Snidle, there is the percentage calculation, dude. It took off because you made so much noise, Gorgon, sir. I heard that. You're playing the play with me? That's flatten and subordination. I'm in a foul mood today. Not play foul. Foul, foul. Day of all days. Oh, Gorgon, sir. Who's shooter? Yeah, that guy with the funky headset is Gorgon. And he also has a ring. Ah, I full snail. I had to screw up. Someone let this outsider get in here? Our recovery plan stone. We can't let you go now. See ya. Hey! Yes, sir? Chase this little boy a thing or two about pain. Aye, aye, sir. You just leave everything to me. You can be assured the time will be done while you return to the lamp. He talks about a cypher lair. We'll find out more about that a little later. Well, no. You, well, now. You heard the man. Well, now. You heard the man. I must get back to the lair, too. You know what to do. Wait a second. That's not what you said. Allow me to explain. We have a crucial job to do with the lair. We need to make shadow Pokemon from the that were on the ship. You do agree that this is indeed important, don't you? If you were to do the job, you would take 30%, 38% more effort than In that case, Gorgon's move would worsen by 72%. You do agree that this is indeed most inefficient for you. As a result, if you were to take on the Lord in the place, would I be ahead 63% towards an overall efficiency? Like I said, efficiency nerd. Why do I always get the feeling that I've been had? Oh, well, if I don't beat you here, it wouldn't be fulfilling my duties. Don't have a grudge for this. I rarely hold grudges, Smartin. And you'll be facing this guy more than once, kinda like Namps. And he has a Huntail and a Kankia. Huntail is one of the side evolutions of, uh, Clam Pearl. The other evolution, of course, being Gorobus. Honestly, I never used any of the Gorobus. I've never used Clam Pearl or its evolution, so. Basically, no comment there. Look at that, a Thundershock takes out more than half its health, and we're going to level lower. This guy, this Huntail likes using Rock Tomb, though. And that's annoying. Not just because it's super effective against Shiva, which is part Ice type. Oh no. Die, you son of a. I hate you. I hate you now. I seriously hate you. Ugh. Damn it. I'm gonna use one of my revives, cause I got plenty. I'm gonna wipe out that stupid Huntail. Critical! Yeah, you deserve that, you prick. Voltar's trying to learn Cotton Spore. I'm not going to teach that, because Cotton Spore is kind of useless. Shiva levels up as well, and I'll do. And he has a Teddy or so, like Naps does. How nice. And it's still using Needle Arm. I don't like Needle Arm. Screw it, I'm chancing it. And I'm gonna Ember that Cacnea. Hopefully it'll take it out before it can do any damage. <clears throat> and my apologies about that, but whatever. I can't wait until Celo learns Flamethrower. That'll be so much better. And he has a coughing! And his Teddy Earth and Slash, that's gonna hurt. Ow! You prick. So yeah, you know why I'm switching back and forth? Because I want Shiva and Voltar to get some experience. Oh, 
more slashing. And this time he's running Sela. You bitch. Yes, I said it. And his coffee knows shockwave, but I know he's gonna use that on Voltar because he was aiming for Shiva. Really, game? Oh my god. Seriously, that's just one of the downsides of this. You get critted out of nowhere almost on a constant basis, and yet you hardly land any criticals. Eh, that's Pokemon for you. You get good luck sometimes, and then you just get downright shitty luck. Ah, great sludge. I hate sludge. What the hell? What the hell, man? Good lord. That was my hound, dude, you ass! Just for that, you get zapped. Fall down and go boom. Martin, I hate you. I go back to a lawyer like this, but he does anyway. Freaking dog. That's just annoying. So yeah, now we got this guy who has apparently been living here for some strange reason. He saw everything. So he's gonna let us rest up in his place, and this heals our Pokemon back to full health. Awesome. So he's going to ask us to uh, investigate the lower areas of the ship, so let's do that. And right here, we get Battle CD 18. So yeah, let's head down here and investigate, because this is actually a... Uh, an important plot point, so to speak. So yeah, I'm gonna just quick grab these two chests here, because I kind of want to. And here we get a Firestone, which, if you, uh... <coughs> if you... If you use the Vulpix like I was originally intending to, but decided to use Houndoom instead, you could use that to evolve it into a Nine at this point. Though, I'd probably recommend you uh, teach Flamethrower to the Vulpix before evolving it. Otherwise, you'll have to get a TM to teach it. And we get more PowerPoint up, which is awesome. I'm, uh... I'm actually not going to use them right now. But I am going to switch my Pokemon around. And uh, Voltar is three levels from evolving, if you've been paying attention to the levels at all. I'm just going to push this over here because I want to get every item in this area. There's quite a few different items. In here, we get a Max Anther, which restores all the power points of a move if you've depleted them. Not that I really need to use others. Why just do that when I can heal up and restore all the power points of my Pokemon for free at a Pokemon Center? Or in any person's place that offers bed rest. Alright, this room. I seem to recall disliking this room. Yeah, this room's puzzle here with the, uh, the Poke Food blocks is kinda tricky. But just follow what I do and you'll be fine. And whatever you do, do not push that one box to the side. If you do, it'll be stuck there and you'll never be able to get all the treasure in here.
And that's how you do it. <clears throat> now for doing that extra effort, we get a yellow flute, which is super, super useful. And in here we get TM35. Um, if I'm not mistaken, that's Shadow Ball? No, that's Flamethrower. So awesome. I could teach Flamethrower right now. And I'm going to do that because, honestly, Ember is not the best move, but Flamethrower is awesomely good. And for this point, Flamethrower is actually pretty tough. Also, hmm, I could teach it to Voltar. Would give it a pretty good offensive move. I think I'll do that. Hmm, I have to give up a move. Well, uh, actually, to be honest, I'm not really going to be using Heal Bell that often, so... As much as it would be useful, it's, I just don't see myself using it in many situations, so... Goodbye, uh, that. Hello, Brick Break. I'm gonna just rearrange my moves a little bit, because, well... I like rearranging my moves here. Speaking of rearranging, yeah... Mm-hmm, yep. Uh, yep. Okay! That's good. And there's Bonsley. Now, you don't want to approach it while running, because if you do, it will wake up and notice you, and then run to the other side of the, uh, this little area here. So, walk. Walk. And right before you get up to it, you get an email. And that wakes it up and sends it running. What odd timing. And it's from Acre at Gate on Port. And she's gonna ask for an interview. Started by the email messengers noise to Pokemon fled somewhere. Now, this comes into a bit of play here. And right here, you get leftovers. One of the more awesome hold items of the game, for obvious reasons. Leftovers restores a little bit of HP each turn. I think it's about 1 16th. I'm going to give that to Shiva for now, until I get something better. Probably, uh, probably when I get a Never Melt Ice, uh, or, uh, or Mystic Water or something like that. I don't know. But Leftovers is a very good item. You can pretty much use it at any point in the game, and it's, and it's useful. What more can be said? But now that that's done, we can finally go back up and tell that guy he has nothing more to worry about. So yeah, he suggests looking for the Pokemon Bonsly at one of the Poke Spots. <clears throat> and that's exactly what we're going to be doing next time on Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. We're going to leave the ship and we're going to go find that Bonsly. This has been Murray Duck. I will see you all later. Thank you.